The goal of this video is for you to understand the periodontal chart and how the different features in this screen works. Let's give you a quick explanation on what the periodontal chart is. The periodontal chart is a graphical tool slash function for organizing all the important information about a patient's teeth and gums when the doctor does the billing after or during an appointment. Now, to access the periodontal chart, you can either do it from the Diary tab or the Daters tab. Simply click on the data slash patient you want to work on and then click on the clinical button in either of the side panels. In the clinical screen, select the dentist tab and then the periodontal chart option. This is the periodontal chart. On the right hand side, you will find the different jaw views, chart filters and odontogram filters. On the left hand side, you will find the chosen chart filters you wish to see and work on. A quick note, you can choose to skip this section where we will be explaining each tooth condition. Select the time in the description. The two jaw views are maxilla, the top jaw, and the mandible, the bottom jaw. Each of the jaw views have two sections. The buccal is the surface of the posterior tooth that faces towards the cheek. And the lingual is the surface of the tooth facing towards the tongue. With the chart filters, you can filter the periodontal chart depending on what the doctor's preferences are. The tooth number is the number of the tooth, from right to left, both top and bottom. Furcation lesion is bone loss, affecting the base of the root trunk to the tooth, where two or more roots meet. Pocket depth is measured by a probe that measures a patient's pocket depth to help detect signs of gum disease. Mobility is a term used for a loose tooth or the degree of how loose the tooth is. Calculus is a form of hardened dental plaque. You can tick this box to indicate that the patient has calculus buildup. Recession is also known as receding gums. It's the exposure of the teeth caused by loss of gum tissue from the crown of the teeth. The odontogram filters include calculus, pocket depth and recession. With the odontogram filters, you can choose to see either one or all three of the tooth conditions information on the teeth through either a yellow, red or blue line. On the chart itself, you can add the patient's information through a drop-down, checkbox, clicking on an image or entering an amount where applicable. Before adding the patient's dental information onto the chart, make sure that you are in the correct jaw view and have the desired chart and odontogram filters selected. At the tooth number option is a drop-down underneath each tooth number. Here you can add a note or mark the tooth either as missing with a gap or without a gap, gold crown, implant and so much more. The tooth's image will change whenever you add any dental information to it. With both plaque and bleeding, you can click on the section circles to indicate where the plaque and bleeding is presented on the tooth. The furcation lesion is only available for teeth with two or more roots and it's measured with single digits in millimeters. Pocket depth is split separately into buccal and lingual. There are three places where you can add a single digit that is measured in millimeters. The red line will then indicate the depth you've added. The mobility of the tooth can be rated between 0 and 9. 0 being the tooth is completely stable and 9 being the tooth is at the brink of falling out. Simply check the box to indicate that the tooth has calculus. A yellow line will appear on the tooth. Recession is also split separately into buccal and lingual. There are also three places where you can add a single digit that is measured in millimeters. The only difference is that the blue line will indicate the recession you've added. 
Underneath the periodontal chart, you can find the patient's periodontal history if you've previously added their dental information in this screen. Simply click on the drop down and select by date the dental information was captured and that day's periodontal chart will open up. After you're done capturing the patient's dental information, make sure to click on the save and close button in the bottom right corner.